It's good to see you again. I have a message for you from the Grey Fox. What is the message? The Grey Fox has a task for you. Meet him at Melintus Ancus's house in Coral. Awesome. You joined the Thieves Guild, you see? Yes, I did. After you saved me in Castle Skingrad, I vowed to join. I was having no luck on my own. Now I am running errands for the Grey Fox himself. I owe you much for your help. Oh, well, you're, well, you're welcome, buddy. May Shadow hide you. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Oblivion. Getting messages delivered directly from the Grey Fox now. That's right, I'm kind of a big deal. Grey Fox and I are like, we're like BFFs, basically. No big deal, no big deal. Arrow of Extrication, saw me out delivered a message to Grey Fox. Wants me to meet him in Coral. Okay. Anytime now. Hi. Man, if magic existed, the magical crime would be unbelievably common. Welcome. Let's talk. Yeah, first of all, this is a uh, nice books. Oh, no. So only three gold. I have need of your services once more. Who doesn't? My work with Sevilla Stone has revealed that I need something special for my plans. It is a small item in the possession of a powerful court wizard. Will you do this for me? I will pay you well. I'll do it. Capital! Bring me the Arrow of Extrication. It has a key-shaped head. Breville's court wizard, Fathis Arryn, recently acquired this unique item. You may kill Fathis if necessary, but not in the castle. My spy network will tell me when you have it. Return here with the arrow when you do. Now, we should get out of Melintus's house before we wear out our welcome. Shadow Hider. Hey, do you wear out your welcome? I don't wear out my welcome. I'm welcome everywhere. Let's go steal this from the silly wizard. <clears throat> Pardon me, people. You smell of death. Yeah, well, you know, I spent a lot of time around dead stuff. Because I'm a murderer. Does anyone see? No, I am here. I stand pro. I'm willing to teach. Goodbye. I thought she was gonna say she's a swimming trainer. I was like, uh, I think that's a skill, girl. Hey, homeless person, tell me all the things I need to know. I'm only one more coin and I'll wretched I am. Oh, here, have a thank you. What are friends for? <clears throat> Bathis is also the wizard in the tower outside of town. He keeps his most treasured items there, not in the castle. Only Fathis can open the door to tower. But there is supposed to be a secret passage somewhere in the castle that takes him to his tower. How could these blessings of the shadow upon you beggars be so well informed always? There's never any lack of information. They literally know everything that they could that they could know. Have pity on an old wall anchoring. How can I help you? What is it now? Just here to steal some shit, don't worry about me.
Who? Regulus Terentius, Count Breville. Good of you to introduce. I'm but no the point, really, huh? And you have no business talking to the Count, right? Ah, uh, this guy right here. He's the court wizard. He has a room in the North Wing. Gloomy fellow. I've heard he consorts with Daedra. I'd steer clear of him if I were you. Farewell. Yeah, I'm almost at lock picks again. Imagine that he wouldn't keep it here. Oh. I only have 10 picks left. I'm going to save him. They didn't find the arrow in his room. I should explore a secret passage. Yeah. I don't have a lot of lock picks left. I need to be a little careful here. Is that a Daedra? I bet you it is. Yes, it is. Wow, did he really just drop a Dremora shield and whatnot? Nice. Okay, which way am I going here? Because uh, I don't have any lock picks, yo. Go right. Not this way. Ah, oh, it's a slaughterfish. Do I still have that? Um, Yes, I do. I can breathe in the water. God, that, that is so good. Man, how far down is this place? Whoa, giant slaughterfish. Oh. 
All right, let's go ahead and heal a little bit. Man, things kick my ass. <sighs> Man, that has a lot of stuff on it. Yes, thank you for the lock picks. Apparently, it ate a shovel at some point. to the heartlands. Where the hell am I? What? <laughs> Did I even go up? I mean, obviously I, I can breathe forever underwater, but <clears throat> so I'm not going up for air, but I'm supposed to go to the castle outside of town. But I think I need to stay in here, honestly. Oh, I thought I couldn't cast while I was underwater. Huh, that's my mistake. Can't see shit. Well, this clearly wasn't the right way. Unfortunately. Wait, are you sure? Because somebody's over here speaking. Let me get some more light. Oops. Actually, I do need to repair. Trap doors, maybe? Must have, been the wind. Must have been the wind, girl. Must have. This place is a goddamn maze. I don't know, it feels like I'm supposed to go this way, but uh, I have no idea. Dagger, nice. Down my way, zombie. I'm gonna 
to load. Yep. I refuse to, to go through that again. So don't steal anything from here, huh? And everything is theft. I uh, accept those ogre teeth. an apple right there that's rare bam i don't care about this enough to waste any lockpicks on that i just got poison apples worth 300 gold come on i don't have that key and they don't have it either hmm Me that there's a way to go that direction. Ah, uh, there we go. I'd say I'm very lucky to have gotten that um, breathing underwater necklace. Getting that necklace very recently in the game really helped me out a lot. Sword, very nice. That is where I'm trying to go, so I'm going to go this direction first. Sounds like there's somebody behind the door that doesn't like me. Me. 
Ooh, that's a nerd root. That's a hard to get nerd root. Like, if you don't grab that nerd root on the first way through here, there's very little chance that you're gonna be coming back this way. Oh, god damn it. Alright, I'm gonna s auto s uh, quick save here and then see if I can get through this. Yes. It glitches out, man. It doesn't. T I'm trying to go right, please. Well, fuck. What am I supposed to do now? Load, obviously. <laughs> hey, man. What else can I do? Alright, that didn't work. Let's try again. What's my other option? Run all the way back out. Go get 100 new lockpicks from Orin the World Weary. There we go. Hello, who's there? Nobody. God, there's so many locked doors, it's annoying. I mean, imagine if you weren't in the Thieves Guild. You would be absolutely forced to learn, uh, I think it's mysticism that allows you to unlock doors. Did I just summon my guy on the other side of the door? Yeah, I did. Huh. That's hilarious. Alright, I guess I gotta pick my way through this. God damn it. At least the tumblers don't fall down anymore. I think that happens when you get up to 25. Can one of you please drop some lockpicks? For the love of God, drop some lockpicks. I don't move encumbered. What can I drop? Look at that. That's it's very cool. It's very nice, but it's worth just about nothing. And it weighs a lot. Don't know picks up the locking. You know what I'm gonna do after this? It's a little cheaty, but I don't care. I'm gonna go. Wait, I'm gonna make sure I. I okay, yeah. I'm gonna go to Orin the World Weary. I'm gonna buy 100 lockpicks. Then I'm gonna wait 48 hours. And I'm gonna buy another 100. Then wait 48 hours and buy another 100. I have two lockpicks with this, man. I mean, honestly, what am I supposed to do if I'm a normie right now? If I'm not, if not willing to reload every time, what am I supposed to do? Shit, man. Ah, oh, all right. Let's try again. I'm sorry you guys have to watch this.
You know, uh, this is a Thieves Guild mission, so I shouldn't be too surprised by this. Okay, now I have one. Now I have one lock pick left. Don't with picking locks, man. Come on, bro. Yeah, please open the gate. This is the part where you fall down and bleed to death. Did one open it? Nah, they won't open it. Yeah, I, I mean. What do I do now? I suppose at this point I just do every lockpick flawlessly. Oh great, they can hit me with fireballs through the gate. Yep, I got lockpicks. All right. Yeah, that wasn't very nice. Jeez. <laughs> Remora Mace. Look at that. 43 pounds. No. No, thank you. Doesn't even do a lot of damage. Hard. Get the fuck out of my face. That must have been a summon Remora. Everything in here is impossible to open. And there's no lockpicks. Freaking out, man. Please, if there is a god in heaven, don't give me any more locked doors. It's... it's comical. Ah! At this point, I'm considering just cheating. Uh, all right. Do it again. Uh, 
Okay. <sighs> Getting better, I suppose. Now I'm inside the mage's tower. was the tower. I better be in the tower right now, man. Yeah. I do have a frost staff, don't I? That would probably be a good idea. Against, um... This is teaching me an important lesson. Don't go anywhere in this game ever again without a million lockpicks. made more than a few enemies since necromancy was back. Huh. You see. Wait, what am I, what am I supposed to do here? I don't, I don't remember the quest. Arrow of extrication. That's what I'm looking for. I found a key-shaped arrowhead, but not the whole arrow. This must be what the Great Hawk's looking for, at least as close as I'm going to get. I should take it home. So you don't mind that I'm killing your uh, elementals? They're clearly, clearly your guardians. To take the fire salts, they're expensive. Ironically, they're not even gonna come close to paying for the recharge cost on the staff, but let's see if I can make this jump. Yes, I can, but there's nothing over here, so. Go to the top. If I kill him, do I get kicked out of the Mage's Guild? Because I think he's in the Mage's Guild. Let's find out. You dare to attack Foster Saturn? Yeah. 
All right, I can't kill him. He's in the Mage's Guild. Man, that was a stressful quest. All that lock picking with not enough lock picks. Ew. Stressful, stressful stuff. I'm gonna go straight to Bruma after I turn in this skeleton, or uh, this uh, whatever, this arrow thing. What did I get? I found a key-shaped arrowhead. Yeah. How are you? I've been waiting. I've been busy. Do you have the arrow of extrication? Hmm. I'd hoped for the whole arrow, but that is not your fault. I will have to have it repaired. This arrowhead advances my plan to. Well, never mind. <laughs> I may have need of you again in the near future if my plans hold. Here is your reward. I am also promoting you to Master Thief in the Thieves Guild. Fathis Ools of the Imperial City will be your new fence. Shadow Hydra. I've never really understood. Uh, nice, 500 gold is great. I've really never understood how, like, or why they upgrade your fences constantly. Um, <clears throat> because there's really, like, no benefit. They end up... I think they have greater amounts of gold that they can trade for. But you end up getting crushed so badly on on sales that, like, the, the first guy you go to, Orlin the World Weary, I think his maximum gold output is, like, 600. But even that is... No, I'm not gonna say it's as good as you're gonna get it. I'm not gonna say it's as good as you're gonna get, but you're not gonna get much, much better than that. Just unlikely to happen. Alright, let's sell them and that and that and those ten. And the staff ruin. Might as well get rid of the staff paralysis as well. I don't use it ever. Alright, let's go to Bruma. I'm gonna, uh, steal a bunch of shit. And... I'm gonna steal a bunch of shit and buy a bunch of lockpicks. Yeah, definitely lockpicks first. Hello. Oh, he's not here. I have to wait until night time. Hmm. Pardon me. Well met. What Greetings, is it now? Or? I'm really tired. Yeah, my favorite cut. That's a good deal. Shadow. I like the snow. It's calming. It calms my frayed nerves. After going through that quest I just went through. Uh, okay. 
Okay. Do I mean 800 is the, the the highest goal that you can go to? It's crazy. I got that in one grab. One grab of the contents of this blacksmith, and I got that 800 gold. Do that. Yeah. That's going to be another, I, I don't know how much. How are you? I'm good. I'm here to relieve you. Hail. You hear Greetings, about John. Yonder? He was that? August sure can tell a good story. In jail. I'm not normally a big fan of Bard's tale, but she's got some good ones. Hey, where's the world weary? <laughs> That was a zero. Excellent. That's for sure. All right, I'm going to sell all this crepe and then go wait in the uh, waterfront district for the person to come. I have another message from oh, the nope, there he is. <laughs> you <laughs> must quick. be very important. I'm pretty important, dude. Like, uh, you know, I steal a lot of stuff. The Grey Fox requests a meeting. Please travel to Gamrindel's house in Shedenol. All right, I'll do that May at Shadow some point. You. Yep, you, you too, buddy. Good afternoon. Ah, uh, Angar, you dickhead. Come back Not here. Really. Uh, he doesn't want to be a fence right now. I wonder what time he goes on on work, on duty. When does his shift start as a guild Hello, fence? Yeah. I'm really tired. Yeah, my favorite. Another hundred lockpicks. Pleasure Hell doing yeah. business. And you can take all this stuff. I, I think I can move. I think I can move. That's more. I think. An excellent bar. I think I can move this. I think I. That's. I, you got. I think. I think I can move this item. Huh? What's Shadow going on with you? I'm gonna wait 24 hours and buy more goddamn lockpicks. <laughs> I told you I was gonna do this. I'm gonna do it. Never gonna find myself in that situation again. I, yeah, I don't know if it's mysticism or alteration, one of those, uh, can unlock doors. But you have to have a pretty high level. Like, it's not realistic to have that in the early game. I'm really... Yeah, my favorite customer. What do you got? Arma, they... You have to wait a little longer. Shadow... I'm really Yeah, my favorite customer. Nope, stars will be set. I'm gonna do another twenty-four hours. Shadow hide. That's right, I am. Cause I need goddamn lockpicks, man. God, does this game have the greatest soundtrack, or what? I'm really tired. Yeah, my favorite customer. Yo, man, what where are your you lockpicks, man? Shadow hide. 
Maybe he actually has to go through a day-night cycle. I'm really... Yeah, my favorite cut. There we go. Alright. Got a couple hundred lockpicks now. Let's go pick up my stuff. Let's go get ready for another mission, huh? How many monies do I have? 10,000. Not that many. I did just spend a couple thousand on uh, lockpicks. Or like 1,000 or 2,000. Some amount of money. I have 299 lockpicks. That's pretty, pretty nice. It's comforting. Comforting to know. What am I doing? Why am I just picking up everything? Beach shoes. All right, shark or feather? Let's do feather. Uh oh yeah, my my uh, heavy armor got decreased. I forgot about that. That's annoying. It is right on the cusp, though. You know what I could do? Where is it? This one, right? Look, it's at 98. I could sleep right now and then train it to 99. And then it would level up. I'm gonna do that. Go intelligence, strength, always strength, and endurance. Let's go train one level with this guy. <coughs> Sorry, with this guy up here. Good day. You've got a lot to there we go Good just day. one and then I'll do this come on level me up just a few more hits there we go you're now master of heavy armor beautiful Buy more armor, uh, repair hammers. It's my pleasure. Can I interest you in some of my? I actually really like the repair system in this game. I know a lot of people don't. A lot of people hated it. But I appreciate your bit. I really don't mind. Need new armor, a weapon. I, I have a large that. selection of both. Hmm. Meh. It's annoying that it drains. It's annoying that it has so many negative attributes. It's, uh, it's not very good. I need like twelve or thirteen thousand before I can get the gloves of the Atronach. Now I'm gonna save up for those. I suppose I have a moment. Yes, I steered clear of them. Come on.
Bell grows something, something, something's house. Oh. Hello. Ah, yes. A guild brother in search of offense? Uh. No. Uh, 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 oh, I'm not on the right mission Shadow here. Shadow hide you. Huh. No, not that one. There we go. Oh, no, I need to be outside. <laughs> oh, this way. I'm not stopped by fences. Hey, what's up, buddy? Come. We have much to discuss. Hmm. Further use of Sevilla's stone has revealed that I need another special item to move forward with my plans. I need the boots of spring -heel Jack. He is a famous thief that died some 300 years ago. Damn. Legend has it that he was buried with his boots on. Find out where spring -heel Jack is buried and bring me back those boots. Will you do this for me? It pays well. I'll do it. Capital. The Earl of Imbil is the only descendant of his line that I've been able to locate. His name is Jockbin, and he lives somewhere in the Imperial City. There might be a clue in the Earl's house. Shadow hide you. I imagine I'll probably just bribe them. I'll just bribe somebody, I assume. You have my ear, citizen. I'm so hooked. I can help. The Earl of Imbol has a home in the Talus Plaza on the inner wall. Cool, cool. He's an odd one. Keeps to himself, mostly. Only goes out after dark. A real night owl. Real suspicious character. Thank you. Lessons of Akato. Almost person. We're gonna cruise home and buy some books. Or not buy, pick up. Those three look like good ones. All right, just a good spot. Origin of the Mages Guild, huh? By Archmage Salarth. The idea of a collection of mages, sorcerers, and assorted mag mystics pooling their resources and talents for the purpose of research and public charity was a revolutionary concept in the early years of the second era. The only organization then closest in name and structure to what we know today as the Mages Guild was the Psychic Order of the Isle of Artium. At the time, magic was something to be learned by individuals or at most within intimate covens. Mages were, if not actually hermits, usually quite solitary. The, set, the Psychic Order served the rulers of Somerset Isle as counselors, and chose its members through a complex ritualized method not understood by outsiders. Its purposes and goals likewise went unpublished, and detractors attributed the worst evils as the source of the order's power. Actually, the religion of the old 
order could be described as ancestor worship, an increasingly unfashionable philosophy in the second era. When Vanus Galerian, a sedic of Artium and a student of the famed Lachesis, began collecting magic, users from around Somerset Isle, oh, magic users from around Somerset Isle, he attracted the animosity of all. He was operating out of the urban center of First Hold, and there was a common and not entirely unfounded attitude that magical experiments should be conducted only in unpopulated areas. Even more shocking, Galerian proposed to make magical items, potions, and even spells available to any number of the general public who could afford to pay. No longer was magic to be limited either to aristocracy or intelligentsia. Galerian was brought before Lachesis and the king of first hold, Rilius the Twelfth, uh, and made to state the intentions of the fraternity he was forming. The fact that Galerian's speech to Rilius and Lachesis was not recorded for posterity, posterity Posterity, posterity is doubtless a tragedy, though it does afford opportunity for historians to amuse one another, one another with speculation about the lies and persuasions Galerian might have used to found the ubiquitous organization. The charter, at any rate, was approved. Almost immediately after the guild was formed, the question of security had to be addressed. The Isle of Artium did not require a force of arms to shield it from invaders. When the Sigic Order does not wish someone to land on the Isle, it and all its inhabitants simply become insubstantial. What? The new mages yield, by contrast, had to hire guards. That's crazy. Insubstantial? Like, they, nobody can interact with them? That's banana sauce. The guild, by contract, had to hire guards. Galerian soon discovered what the Tamarillian nobility has known for thousands of years. Money alone does not buy loyalty. The knightly order of the lamp was formed the following year. Like a tree from an acorn, the Mages Guild grew branches all over Somerset Isle and gradually the mainland of Tamriel. There are numerous re records of superstitious or sensibly fearful rulers forbidding the Guild in their domain. But their heirs or heirs' heirs eventually recognize the wisdom of allowing the Guild re free reign. The Mages Guild has become a powerful force in Tamriel, a dangerous foe if uh, a somewhat disinterested ally. There have been only a few rare incidents of the Mages Guild actually becoming involved in local political struggles. On these occasions, the Guild's participation has been the ultimate decider in the conflict. No shit, they're powerful as hell. As begun, the Vanus Galerian, as begun by Vanus Galerian, the Mages Guild is an institution, as an institution is provided over by a supreme council of six arch magisters. Each guild hall is run by a guild magister, assisted by a two by a twofold council, the Master of Incubala and the Master of Arms. The Master of Incubala provides over additional council of two mages, the Master of Academia and the Master of Sire. Scry? Scry? The Master at Arms also has two councils, the Master of Initiates and the Master of Palatinas, the leader of the local chapter of the Order of the Lamp. One need not be a member of the Mages Guild to know that this carefully contrived hierarchy is often nothing more than a chimera. As Vanus Galerian himself said bitterly, leaving Tamriel to travel to other islands, the Guild has become nothing more than an intricate morass of political infighting. That's sad, but interesting. Yeah, of course the Mages Guild is the deciding factor in so many things. They're so incredibly powerful. I mean, they're only limited by their low number of guild, of guild mages. You know, if they were simply to increase the amount of mages they had under the guild, they would be an unstoppable force. But anyway, let me know how you feel down in the comments below. That is where we're going to end the video for today. Thank you all so much for watching. Like, share, subscribe, comment, do all those great things down below, or don't. Just catch me in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.